afternoon and good evening guys and welcome to another video of the Diamond Trader. My name is Daniel and today guys we're doing our update on Nokia. It's been a while. Uh, I've done a few updates on Nokia as you know. Those of you that follow my channel know that Nokia are one of my favorite long-term investments. This is my safe investment. So it's not a penny stock. Uh, the, the price looks like it's a penny stock at $4. As you see on the screen, uh, it's, it's dropping. It's dropped slightly recently and uh, this is good. This is a great time for buying, so this is uh, good. Uh, however, for your current investor or your buyer, they'll look at this and think, right, this isn't going anywhere, hasn't been going anywhere for the last years, uh, and I don't see a reason why to invest. So I can understand, I can believe that, I can, I completely uh, respect that decision. Everyone is not the same. Uh, so a lot of people will look to have fast, uh, quick investments, quick uh, returns, like we're seeing in a lot of markets at the moment. But this one, I just don't know. I think this one will explode in the future. And if you haven't seen my videos, uh, I'm not going to talk about the financials. I'm not going to talk about the details of the company because I've already talked about that in my previous videos. There's nothing, ch nothing has changed since. So today, what we're going to do is go through some of the updates, the most recent updates since the, the last video i done, uh, just to give us a feel of what, where we're going. Because even though we have a company, well, we still need to be feeling to see what's happening, right? Because uh, I say this, but if something that I don't like, I see uh, about Nokia uh, in the next few quarters, there's no reason that I won't be selling. Uh, I look at it as being a buy now, and I still and I, I, I still believe they're going to go in this right direction, but we still need to keep a, 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 an eye, we we'll have to be on top of it to see the results at least every quarter to see that we're going in that right, right direction, okay? So it's at four dollars and six cents. Four dollars and six cents. Uh, it was up uh, a couple of weeks ago, very high, uh, and this was because it was in the Reddit uh, hype. Here we go. It was up to six. Yeah, so six dollars and fifty-five. It was. Uh, it went up for one day, and then boom, came right back down. Yeah, uh, I've invested way before that, so I was nothing to do with that, and I ignored that. Uh, and I can imagine there's still people that hold this that are thinking that something's going to happen. Um, there's been a price drop recently. Uh, well, in fact, today, the 17th of February, uh, if you're watching this video today, you'll know that the market is down today in a way in general. So, um, But this is great buying opportunities. When we have a dip like this, I always see it as a good buying opportunity, not a, uh, not like, oh, uh, we're in red. So yeah, everyone has their own way of looking at things and that's the way I look at it, is to take advantage uh, to, to average in. So uh, yeah, let's have a look, see what the news is. We have some news, let's have a look at some of the news. Nokia Mobile doing well in India and plans to launch a 5G mass market phone by the end of 2021. So that was uh, a couple of days ago. So with an interview with the global vice president, um, they st st stated that they've uh, looking to uh, make in India a manufacturing and distribution hub for Nokia phones with deals with home-growing contract electronic manufacturing services like Lav and Dixon. ET article also says that mobile f Nokia Mobile is preparing an a more affordable 5G smartphone for 2021, which also indicated with the recent launch of Qualcomm Snapdragon 480. Okay, so yeah, it's a little bit on the 5G mm, phone side. That's the probably the part that least excites me, that Nokia has a lot more than just a mobile. And I think this is still what a lot of people think about Nokia. As, a, as it being an old mobile, out of date, it's not going anywhere. So while they have their mobile phone market uh, and they will not get in because they have big, big guys out there that are so far ahead in terms of uh, your apples and your samsung's for example uh, yeah there's no comparison right uh, so yeah they will they have a, a cheaper they have a, a a budget phone which is good for a lot of people but uh yeah it's not uh it won't get them uh won't make them rich tomorrow for what they can sell uh, so the really the, the emphasis is on the other parts of what nokia have and uh, you see that in my videos uh, i talk about that so have a look at that 
So uh, this is again, this is yesterday. So actually Nokia, even though there was a losses on the day yesterday, so we have losses today, 17th. Yesterday there were losses as well. The market again was quite down. It actually opened up because Monday was a holiday. Tuesday was like a Monday. So everyone is expecting it to be a green day. It was a negative for red day. And uh, having said that, they managed to outperform their competitors on the, on the day. Okay, so it actually uh, dropped 0.96%. It was at $4.13. So as we can see now, that's $4.13 yesterday. We're at $4.07 uh, right now. Uh, so yeah, so okay. Uh, what's interesting is a lot, there's a lot of emphasis uh, on BlackBerry, which is one of their comp uh, competitors. So that's quite interesting. You can see how they've dropped. I quite like this because this is life. So you'll have a look at 8.4%, 8.04%. Uh, and then Apple, um, so yeah, they had losses as well. So Nokia, if you compare it to the rest of the market, didn't have a uh, a loss compared to their competitors. Okay, so it's not really relevant on one day, but uh, we want to look at the long term, not what happens on one day, but just to give you an idea of uh, how the market is reacting to this sort of stuff at the moment. So good news. This was good news. This is actually fresh off the fresh off the whatever you call it. Uh, Nokia teams up with Elisa, Elisa in Finnish private mobile networks push. Nokia partners with telecom partner Elisa in a joint go-to uh, market alliance to drive industrial grade private mobile network deployment. Under the agreement, Nokia and Elisa will utilize a new and existing radio network infrastructure to deploy private networks with Finnish businesses. The companies will collaborate, uh, collaborate on 5G private mobile offerings and market development to help organizations accelerate digitalization and boost productivity. Nokia and Elisa will also align their source resources to drive marketplace campaigns, share competency development and advance technical operation. The collaboration with initially focused on markets such as maritime ports, mining, manufacturing, logistics and utilities, private mobile networks and these industries deploy IoT, machine learning and AI which is artificial intelligence for automation, safety and productivity gains. So this is good. So we we begin to see these uh, these partner and partner because this is what really what Nokia has been doing. Uh, they've they, they've they've changed their their mindset. Uh, they're using parts of what they're good at and partnering up with to go forward. And every time we see news, this was like I said, this was today. Every time we see news, uh, we're seeing this. It's like come on, it's got to go up sometime. But uh, I think, yeah, I think th this is all good news. Uh, it's nothing enough to excite the world yet. Yeah, this is still, obviously, these bits of information, this bit of news is, is good. It won't really affect their balance sheet that much. Uh, we need to see a lot more um, bigger, much bigger deals. Um, but yeah, I think, again, they're going in the right direction. We'll continue monitoring them. Uh, we'll see the first quarter results. Uh, I don't think we'll see a lot of change in the first quarter, and I don't think we'll see a lot in the second quarter. We might be surprised, but I think it's when we get to the third quarter, we should start to see something that is quite promising, uh, which hopefully by that time, third quarter, we'll, a lot of uh, people will uh, be a bit more excited. Okay, so, so yeah, that's a little bit about the Nokia update. Uh, if you have any questions, don't forget to leave some comments in the comments below and hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button um, and that little belly thing at the end. So you want to release a video, you know, you get a notification, you know, that thing. So, yeah. So, guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day and I'll speak to you soon.